mic. Welcome to this episode. Now listen up. We have a permission from the people of Nexo to open the batteries. We're going to explore inside. We're going to do our own research. We want to find out why these batteries are so strong. What is the real benefit uh, to changing your nickel metal hydride battery compared to the lithium upgrade? You might have some questions. One of the very important are these batteries serviceable? Maybe you want to find out. So, what do you say if we do it together here at Hybrid Solution Deck? So, if you want to know, stick around. We will continue then. Before we continue, I want to thank everybody. We are about to reach 5,000 followers here in Hybrid Solution Diagnostic. I am so excited for that. So because of that, I'm gonna do this very special master class level lesson. It's gonna be a short video, however you're gonna love it. What are we gonna do? We have an Excel battery. We're gonna fully open it. We're gonna see how inside its structure, all these cells within. We want to see the management system that allows all the cells to get in balance. And the main final thing is we want to know if this battery is serviceable. So let's continue then. Okay, so before we begin, I want to let you guys know that this battery is a battery that has it had some problems. There was a customer that had an issue and because of warranty purposes, the people from Nexel send the back the a brand new blade. We replace it, vehicle is fine, and he allows us to keep this one for research and educational purposes. So let me show you one thing. First thing we have, we're gonna compare it. First of all, the weight, all right? And as I said, let's go live over here with you guys. Oh, no, I don't want pounds. I don't want pounds. I want kilos. Sorry. There you go. Two kilos. And the Nexo. 1.27. So we're talking about almost half of the weight. But the other thing is that for some reason, this module is way much more stronger than these two. Now why? No, well, let's take a look. We will continue then. Okay, so one of the things that you can see clearly is that the original Toyota, of course, they are not serviceable, okay? There's just one single module, okay? With six individual cells, all right? Connected in series. However, this one is different. This one, the nominal voltage, is a little higher okay because of the chemistry of the battery but not only that this module only have six I'm sorry not six five individual cells but I want to see that you know how is Jose from hybrid solution diagnostic I want to scrap everything out and do my own research to find out and show and share you guys exactly what's going on with it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna show you with much detail what do we have inside here. So let's continue then. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We gotta take out all these screws. One, two, two, three, and then four. Let me take it out and we will continue then. Okay, screws, screws are off. So they have a little glue. She comes with a little glue over here, some sort of a silicone something, okay? Now, I already took it off, all right? Once we open it, we have fully access to the module inside. However, I don't want to trick you guys. I already opened it, okay? Because to find out and do all the research, okay? 
I had to open it first of all, inspect and diagnose the module because this module was, as I said, it was a, it's, it's a defective module. Uh, but I wanted to find out if it's serviceable, if you can repair it, all right. But then I talked to Jack and he told me, yes, he has available all the parts. So that is a very nice thing. So let me show you quick. So once I open it, obviously we will see here all the cells with these connectors over here. But can you see all these little tapes over here, some protectors, all those stuff? It's because look, the voltage monitoring, okay? It has its own cable, so it has all protectors, okay? Protector layers to protect each one of them, okay? Once again, I took it off. So the procedure is the following. Let me show you quickly, it won't take long. Once that we have this, okay? The first thing we gotta do is we gotta take out, first of all, on solder, the negative from the main outlet right here, okay? I already took it out, look completely free the other thing is with uh, 11 millimeter okay we're gonna take this out we're gonna take this out in order to take out the studs so we're gonna take the, out the studs just give me one moment I'll let you know we'll continue then. all right with an 11 millimeter socket whatever you want you can just take them out and as I said, I already unsoldered the main connector from the cell, as you can see. Just use a normal iron solder. And you can just take it, can you see? As well as the other cells. Not only that, look, the, the other side stud you also unsolder it from the last cell and look you can take it out and if by chance you made an accident and you over tighten well yes it is a serviceable and replaceable part okay now we have another thing over here we have the battery management system well it's not management it's, it's the passive balancing system okay which we have it over here look let me see if i can focus <laughs> okay let me just unplug it for a moment all right a second let me see if i can do it with my hands difficult to do it with one hand oh, there it is okay so this is the passive balancing board that it's connected one common ground and three individual resistors with its controller to each one of the cells in order to keep them in balance okay so i really like this because obviously if you have a system to keep them in balance they are not serviceable when it comes to the need to recondition and recycle none of those things you don't need to do that this takes charge so this is another thing that i like all right let me continue. Then again, let's see if we take out this. We'll take these out too. All right. And so because I already unsoldered, I already unsoldered this, I can easily take out, first of all, the first cell, then the next stud connector from the negative side. And as you can see, if you break it, they are serviceable. You can just replace it. That is a very nice thing. So the common ground, the main cable connected to the positive of each one, okay? And then finally, what we're we gonna do? We're gonna pull it out very carefully. All right, a second, here we go, here we go. Very carefully, very carefully. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, remember that I'm doing this with only one hand. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, she's out. 
the last cell is out. All right. So we have a completely empty housing. And look at what we have here. <laughs> Let me see positive and negative. There it is. Okay. So we could say that this is the complete batteries. Now let's inspect a little bit the cells because we have a 3.2 volts, 11.2 watt hour, okay, and 3500 milliamp hour individual cells. But look, each one of the cells is not just one, it's two cells connected in parallel. So two cells connected in parallel, each one at 3500 milliamp hours which is telling me that this is, this is gonna give you now 700, 7,000 milliamp hour. I'm sorry, 7,000 milliamp hour. So it is very strong indeed. One thing that the people from Nexel are saying that of course, because of the energy density of this one, it's lighter, okay? It takes way much more power. These batteries can take over 100 amps of power. And he's saying it's a walk on the park which is telling us that you can easily charge and discharge this vehicle at a high rate of current and nothing is gonna happen. That is amazing. All right, let's see what else we got. The other thing is, as you can see how they are soldered between them. Let me show you. This is how they go. This is the very truth. There you go. As I said, I already unsoldered, okay? But with a normal soldering, you can just melt on the the lid and that's it. Look, it will come out. And what are we gonna do? I want to measure the voltage. Let's see, let me see positive negative. Let me see what have we positive and negative. I want to measure the voltage of each one of the cells to see what we got. We will continue. Give me a chance. Alright, so we're gonna measure the voltage. Give me one second. Okay. So this one is the main, let's see, the negative outlets. 3.25 volts. This one is a cell in the middle. Let's measure the voltage. 2.56. Continue. Three point twenty-five. Go ahead. Go ahead. You get that. Three point twenty-four. Three point twenty-five. And the last one. Three point twenty-four. So the exercise is, is the following. We were trying to find what happened to this defective module that came that suddenly begin to discharge faster. And look, once again, 3.20, let me see. There you go, 3.25. And look at what happened to this one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, something really bad happened to this cell. This cell is one point, almost two volts. Like if apparently one of the cell, these one of these cells simply die, that could be it. Three point twenty four. Let me see. Yeah, they're fine. Let's go to the other one. Three point twenty five. Three point twenty four. The last one again. So this is definitely our problem, this 2.56. So apparently, as you can see, just one single cell, actually two cells connected in parallel is the one giving us trouble. As I say, it's a chain, and as a chain is as strong as its weakest link. So we have four cells 
with only one defective, one in the middle, and that's it, the battery is done. But the good thing is, they are serviceable. You can just simply take it out, change the cell, and bye-bye. So I really love this. So let's continue, we're almost done. Okay. So I'm not gonna take out these cells from here. Actually, as you can see, this little, these uh, copper bus bars that connects them, okay? In series, once again, with their own voltage monitoring to balance, okay? We have then this one, which is our defective cell, okay? Which is uh, a little less than 2.5 volts when they're supposed to be all 3.25, okay? We know this one is the bad one. Once again, serviceable. You can just replace it and that's it. Next, once again, a quick review of the passive balancing system, which one common ground will discharge through the all these resistor, each one of the cells. Next, we have the studs, completely serviceable. That's, in other words, you can just replace them, okay? If by chance you over tighten or whatever happened, because remember, these are copper. Okay, so copper is a little, it's not so strong as the original, which they're stainless steel. Okay, but it doesn't matter. The conductivity of this one is very nice. In other words, servicing the, the brand new Nexel batteries over time, because I'm pretty sure because of the energy density, okay, how much power per weight, of course, these can provide it's definitely stronger than those first of all the voltage nominal voltage is a little higher these cells are bigger and not only that you're using two 3500 milliamp hour cells connected in parallel so it is definitely strong indeed the numbers of cycles are the same so the nexus are claiming that these cells are giving you 3000 cycles which is from the manufacturer's point of view, it's the same as the Toyota. However, this one gives you much more energy density, which is telling us no thermal runaway. They don't discharge, no self-discharge, at least not the same as the nickel metal hydrate. Okay? And definitely, as far as I can see, every, everything, it is serviceable indeed. So, as I said, it was a short video follow our Instagram page for direct contact because remember we have a special online training program fully personal for each one of the user customers of technicians that want to get a better understanding or better deep diving when it comes to training about this hybrid batteries so guys I hope you guys like this video this was a surprise for you guys uh, because we are almost to reach 5,000 followers here in Hybrid Solution Diagnostics. So I am very grateful. And as we become the new certified installers for this brand, as I said, nothing to do with the brand, we're just certified installers, okay? We have a great relationship with Jack. Jack is great. He responds amazing uh, when it comes to any issue, any concern, okay? We're gonna make a video with him very soon because we have if you still have questions, I'm going to make up the very list of the most important questions to ask directly to Jack. And we're going to make a live video, okay? So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys like this video. More, more great content is coming, so stick around. And I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Bye-bye.